welcome back to my channel today you guys i am going to be making homemade chicken parmesan let's get into this video here's all the ingredients y'all gonna need y'all already know i'm gonna have everything in the description box for y'all let's get into it okay so first things first you want to go ahead and get you about five or six chicken breasts go ahead and clean them up real 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 good you can either use lemon lime vinegar and some ice cold water and when you get them all cleaned up they should look like this now we are gonna go ahead and slice our chicken breasts in half. You could also butterfly your chicken breasts, but look, I'm gonna go ahead and just slice the whole daggone thing in half. As we know, chicken breasts are very thick, and sometimes when you cook them, they can't really get done in the middle because they're so thick. So the purpose of us cutting these chicken breasts in half is not only to make double the food, okay, but it's also to um, reduce some of the thickness, okay? So once we get all of our chicken breasts cut up, we are gonna go ahead and get a meat tenderizer. I told y'all I would upgrade from that hammer that I had in the tenderloin video, and y'all, I did just that, okay? So get you a meat tenderizer. Um, and go ahead and try to, you know, uh, tenderize these chicken breasts. I know it's going to be kind of hard because they're really, really, really thick, like super, super thick, but just try to beat on them pretty good, um, until they have the right consistency to you. We're all different, but when I had them, like when they were all flat, like all around, that's when I'm like, yep, these are good to go. So just make sure you um, do that. Okay, so we have three eggs, and I'm gonna go ahead and crack these three eggs into a bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eggs and I'm gonna mix those up really, really well. You wanna go ahead and break down as much of the yolk as you can. We don't don't want these to be very yolky we want them to be like scrambled eggs so you want to scramble up that egg as much as possible okay we're gonna be dipping our chicken into the egg we have some garlic and herb air season air fryer seasoning and this is by Louisiana y'all so make sure you get it we have some Italian style breadcrumbs you gotta have Italian style breadcrumbs okay they put a whole bunch of extra seasonings in them that we need for this okay so once you get both of those poured into a nice little plate or a flat serve like a flat dish you're gonna want to head a go look y'all I can't even talk your girl is so excited for this video I cannot talk and I'm sure y'all overhear me talk anyways but just make sure you mix it up okay we are gonna take three cans of spaghetti sauce. You can use whatever kind you want. I'm using two cans of Prego and one Kroger brand. You're gonna go ahead and put that into a pan, pot, whatever. And like always, we gotta have some garlic up in there. I didn't have minced garlic, but I had chunky garlic. So I went ahead and just used the rest of that chunky garlic. I would probably say I used about a tablespoon, okay? We're gonna set it off with some onion powder. We're gonna use some of the Lowry's Total Seasoning because I love it so much. It's so good and it's so fire. We gotta have plenty of salt because you cannot make any type of a spaghetti dish. You can't make no dish without no daggone salt, baby. And we gotta have some black pepper, okay? Not too much, just the right amount, all right? We need our Italian seasoning because we're making an Italian dish. So it's quite obvious we have to have Italian seasoning. Not too much, just the right amount, okay? Perfect. Give it a nice good stir and that's all y'all need. You can add a little bit of sugar. I added a little bit of sugar off camera just to balance out the acidity, but y'all don't need to too much, okay? That's it for the sauce. Okay, so for our chicken, we're gonna use salt, pepper, total seasoning, onion powder, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, chicken seasoning, oregano, Italian seasoning, and let's go ahead and glove up and mix all of these seasonings up with that delicious chicken. If you cannot see the seasonings, it is not seasoned enough. I don't know who told y'all your food is gonna be good without seeing them daggone seasonings. If you don't see them daggone seasonings, it ain't seasoned enough, okay? Now for the fun part. We're gonna take one of those chicken breasts, we're gonna dip it in that egg mixture, and then we're gonna take our Italian breadcrumbs, and we're gonna take that Louisiana air fryer seasoning that we've mixed up, and we're just gonna put it right on top, y'all. 
You don't want to really push, push, push the seasonings onto it. If a couple areas don't have, you know, the batter on it, that's okay. It, it's it's going to fry. It's going to fry regardless, baby, okay? So let's go ahead and do the second one. Just repeat this process, you guys. It is a little bit of a tedious process in your kitchen. <laughs> it's going to be messy, baby. It's going to be real messy. You're going to have eggs, breadcrumbs. But I promise you guys, making chicken parm at home will save you the headache of having to go to an Italian restaurant and spend a lot of money. This was busting, this was fire. My mama said it's the best she's ever had. This is the best chicken parm she's ever had in her life. And my mom is not a tough cookie to please, okay? So I am, I was excited by that comment. But yeah, this is the third baby. You could probably fit about three in the skillet or so. Um, if you have a bigger pot or pan or whatever, it might work out different. And if you guys do not want to fry this, you can actually bake these. Just put about two to three tablespoons of oil on the bottom of your baking dish and just put this, you know, in the oven on 350, 375 for like 30 minutes, maybe 20, 20 minutes, y'all. And you can definitely still make this without frying it. You can put it in the air fryer or you can put it in the oven, okay? But I want to keep it easy and simple, and I want to do it the way they do it at the restaurant. So I had to fry it. Look at how it looks already. Look at those seasonings. Look at those herbs. And I'm using canola oil, of course. After five minutes, we want to go ahead and give them a turn because chicken breasts, it's so easy to dry them out, and they overcook really easily. So we want to make sure we do not overcook these chicken breasts, y'all. They look perfect. Some spots are golden and darker than others, y'all. That is a-okay. It is going to be fire, okay? So our chicken is nice and done. I went ahead and took it out. As you see, it's nice and crispy, full of color, full of flavor, full of seasonings, baby. Let's get some of that red sauce on there. Now, I have to tell you guys, when you guys add the sauce, please don't pour it. Please do not grab like a scoop and no do it with a little spoon or a wooden spoon you're trying to just cover the top of the chicken breast just a little bit with the sauce okay just a little bit now we're gonna take sliced provolone and shredded mozzarella cheese and we're gonna go ahead and just put that right on top okay now before we do that I wanted to also continue to show you how I'm making this do you guys see how I'm doing little tiny scoops? I'm not doing big, massive spoonfuls of sauce because we don't want the sauce to soak into the chicken and make it soggy. Even though this is a spaghetti dish, we want our chicken to still be crunchy, okay? So I just wanted to let you guys know. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our sliced provolone cheese and now we're gonna add our sliced mozzarella cheese. You guys can use whatever cheese you want but this is definitely the more authentic way to make it. And I also have a little triangle of uh, fresh Parmesan cheese. And all I'm doing, you guys, is taking my cheese grater and just grating the Parmesan cheese right on top because it's called chicken parm for a reason. You gotta have Parmesan, baby. So just get you um, some Parmesan cheese and grate it up. I put this thing in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, y'all, just so that cheese can melt. I put some fresh parsley on top, and honey, look at that, look at that cheese pool, ah, look at that freaking steam, y'all better stop playing with Chef Rambo, I know I say that every video, but I'm so serious with it, y'all know everything I do, everything I touch turns to gold, first time making chicken parm, and hands down, this was the best chicken parm I've ever had in my entire life, I've had it at Olive Garden, I've had it at Macaroni Grill, I've had it out of town, and y'all, this was blessing, my whole family agreed, Look at that. Went ahead and just put it right over some spaghetti. And when you make your spaghetti, just no meat, all sauce, and some garlic bread on the side. Y'all know I will have everything in the description box for y'all. I love you guys. Thank y'all for supporting me. Stay tuned for the next video, y'all. Peace.